how are you being called to step up and lead in your life? It's the first thing. We tend to feel like we are little and insignificant because that has been our experience most of our lives. In school, we're trained, you're little and insignificant. You have to listen to the older people who know more than you do. And even as adults, most of us are still operating under that understanding because it's our programming when we're young. So, all of us that are awake right now in the world are the leaders of the new world. We are. The new world, we're in a transition phase between <laughs> the old world and a newer world that is going to be um, something much different, something much more for humanity instead of using humanity and controlling humanity. So we don't know what that's going to look like. We're creating it with our thoughts right now, with our hopes, with our dreams. We are the creators of the new world. And we are here to lead. 92% of the population is still asleep. And they're waking up every day. And they're looking for people. People in their communities, people in their hometown, people on the internet to lead them. That's why you were awakened when you were so that you could be a leader. Now this is gonna look different for everybody. It might be leading on a small scale. It might be leading two or three people in a, in a yoga class once a week so that they're connecting in. You know, it's going to look different. It might be leading moms that feel afraid about something. It's going to look different. But we are awakened for a reason. It's to lead others. And when we lead others, we lead ourselves. When we give to others, even though we have doubts and fears inside, it helps us zoom past those doubts and fears. It helps us rise up and it makes the doubts and fears much quieter. It's when we are afraid to take action, step into the leadership role that we are here to have, that those doubts and fears are overwhelming. But when we have the courage to start taking tiny little actions, into who we actually are because listen gang, we are all God. We are all the ultimate leader. That is our truth. Okay, so there is nobody here that is not capable of it. We all are. We are being asked to be the leaders because if not us, who's gonna do it gang? Is it gonna be the same people that have led us to what we're in right now? We can do better. We can do better. And that's why we're here. We aren't here simply as observers, just to sit back and watch and let things happen to us. We are here to create the future for ourselves, for our family, and for humanity. We are the creators. And if we don't step into that, if we don't say, yes, yes, I will create, Somebody else will do it for us. And we're probably not, not gonna like it all that much. We are here to create.